Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today we're continuing the discussion. We're discussing how everyone is struggling, looking for employees, and this is another resource that we're sharing today. Last week, we spoke with the American Job Center, who's a huge resource for employers and restaurateurs who are looking for that workforce that they need to keep their businesses going. Today, we'll be discussing with two local, uh, um, two local representatives from our community college and our university. And to our viewers and business owners, owners this is a huge resource to find qualified and trained employees. As you all know, we're all struggling to fill um, vacant slots. And as we're looking to find employees, last week, the American Job Center gave us a lot of their resources where they can actually um, walk you through how employers can actually post their job openings on the American Job Posting site. They can have job fairs and they can even assist you with um, how the process goes and other resources that they have partnered with that may be other resources that you can find employees. So today I'd like to have, um, first I'm gonna go with Windward Community College. I'd like to introduce Daniel. Hey Daniel, you wanna introduce yourself? Give them your title over there at Windward Community College. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, my name is Daniel Swift. I work as a workforce development coordinator over at Windward Community College. And what that means basically uh, is that we're preparing uh, folks for industry uh, in the hospitality and culinary arts careers uh, at the certificate level, less of the associate degree level that you might get at a regular program like Kapiolani or Leewards um, or the four year or beyond uh, graduate level at UH Manoa. So uh, we do specialized training and we are sort of that link between high schools and uh, universities and industry. So we're that little first step um, in the direction towards a career in hospitality. Thank you, Daniel. I'd also like to introduce Jerry. Hey, Jerry, you want to introduce yourself? Aloha, Cheryl. Aloha, everybody. I'm Jerry Agruster. I'm a professor at the University of Hawaii at Manoa in the School of Travel Industry Management at the Scheidler College of Business. And what we do here is we're actually teaching the next level of management. Uh, we're teaching our students uh, how to be managers. And, you know, one of the biggest challenges that we have when uh, with, with the industry right now is the number one reason people leave their uh, position is because of their relationship with their management or their supervisor. So it's so important to teach, uh, to have managers be prepared, not just to how to manage, but how to manage people correctly so that we don't lose them. And that's what we try to do here. That's so important. Thank you, Jerry. So let's start with Daniel first. Daniel, let's kind of discuss a little bit about your, um, your program over there. I know one of the programs you have is Manage First, but you also do some specialized um, training for specific employers. That's correct. Yeah, we do all of the courses that are offered through National Restaurant Associates Manage First program. Uh, they run on a rotating uh, basis and it depends on um, what the calendar schedule allows us to do uh, and availability of our um, faculty and the demand on the side of the, the folks that are looking to get into industry. Um, uh, Oahu Back to Work, for example, which kicked in right when the pandemic started, uh, was a big funder of that. And we put through uh, about 300 students that were uh, displaced workers and that were looking to make a shift or get a certification in advance of, um, you know, the, the, the industry reopening, uh, which is where we're at now. Uh, so we do have that program. We also do, as you mentioned, some specialized training. We work with Merimed. We work with Queen Lily Okalani Trust, and, and Jerry's exactly right. The management side of things is critical. So we're, we're trying to hit them at the beginning and give them the skills necessary to get their foot in the door, um, prove themselves in a workplace environment, and then begin to start to absorb the information necessary to be successful managers. And then we hope that they'll look towards the CC system at Kapiolani, at Han CC, or over at Leeward, and, uh, take that next step to get their associate degree. And then with luck, we, we're hoping, of course, that they move on to Scheidler 
uh, or any of the programs at Manoa to help solidify their, their knowledge uh, and expertise as managers. That is excellent. And one of the resources also that Daniel always tells me is, you know, hey, Cheryl, just let me know if you know of a job um, opening, you know, let, I can post it and I can also spread the word for you. So Daniel, is it okay if I give um, some of our viewers and our restaurateurs your email address? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, and anyone can feel free to reach out to you uh, or to me via you, you or to me directly. Uh, and I'm well connected uh, with the folks at Leeward and at Kapiolani on the hospitality side. And I'm meeting Jerry today, so now I'll be connected on the on the Manoa side. And um, anything we can do to help facilitate uh, getting folks into this industry. I've spent 35 years in the business and I'm, I'm a little sad right now, to be honest, with the, as, as we're coming out of the pandemic, I'm looking forward to uh, a new generation of folks stepping in and really understanding how, what a brilliant uh, lifestyle and career you can have in the hospitality industry. And you're so right. You know, many of our viewers, you know, even if they're specifically not in the restaurant industry, they could have a niece or a nephew or somebody that they're guiding and can say, hey, did you know that when we're coming to college provides the manage first restaurant and beverage training that they can go ahead and take a certification course to even see whether or not this is something that they're interested in to get a certification. Yeah. And, I, and real quick on the management side, one thing I would say for employers is uh, with the shift to online and, and to trying to get things done more quickly, uh, we do specialized training. So if there's a restaurateur out there that wants to do a team building or, or build a cultural program that's a one day or a two day or, or spread out over a longer period of time, feel free to reach out. We do customized training and you know, that can really lead to retention. Uh, so not only is it a challenge, of course, to, to get someone in the door, but we want to try to retain those employees as well. That is so true, right? It's the one side filling the vacant positions, but the other side is creating that team, right? That, that corporate culture team that you become a family. And I know that when we're at community college, you also can provide um, some tuition assistant advice. Yes, that's correct. There's a number of programs that are running um, at no cost to students and then some that are just funded partially through scholarships. So there's always a lot of scholarship money and educational money available at the university level and at the CC level. So I encourage everyone to explore that or if you have questions, just let me know. There's a couple of programs going on right now. Hana Career Pathways is one uh, that's out there. And then you can reach out to me directly for some of the other uh, information that's uh, doing completely free training uh, for folks. And that's so important. That's why I mentioned earlier in this, um, when we started is these local community colleges and universities are such a resource for our restaurateurs that many of them don't know that you offer these type of classes, certifications, and um, knowledge so that they can come back, right, in our, our workforce with all this under their belt. And That's correct. with financial assistance. Absolutely. Yes. That's so important today. Yes, yes, everybody, yes. So now I'd like to bring on Jerry. Hey, Jerry. You want to tell us a little bit about what UH Manoa is doing? Uh, thank you, Cheryl, and aloha. Yes, um, you know, one of the big things about UH Manoa is um, we have a specific School of Travel Industry Management. And in that program, we, we teach a number of food and beverage courses. And uh, the, the top one is uh, Tim 3, uh, 313, which is uh, a restaurant management class. And one of the things that we do in that class is the students learn the base, you know, the, the, the foundations, you know, the food costs, how to determine food costs, how to determine beverage costs. And we go through a number of purchasing, things like this. But uh, for their semester project, the students have to uh, write a business plan. And with that, they can develop any a business plan for any type of food or beverage operation. And um, it could be as small as a coffee shop or as much as a five-star restaurant or anything in between. And one of the, the things we do at the end of the semester when the students make their group presentation is we bring in executives from the industry, uh, whether it's the general manager of Dukes or the owners of Tiki's or the food and beverage manager at Sheraton, 
We've actually had Chef Mavro. We've had some folks that work for Roy, et cetera. We just recently had Ryan Tanaka, who will be the next president of Hawaii Restaurant Association. As, and they are judges. And um, they give, you know, good feedback, some, some a little stronger than others. I had one day there, uh, we have a, a Dirk, which owns Il Gelato. Uh, he was there and uh, Jeff Yeldon, who is the hotel manager for Hilton Hawaiian Village, and uh, Andy Lockman, who's uh, the head of food and beverage here at the university. All three of those gentlemen have PhDs. So we had three PhDs in the front line asking these students questions. And um, they were a little, uh, they, they forgot that these are junior, these are students in the junior year of undergraduate, not PhD, <laughs> they were asking PhD questions. But other than that, um, as a whole, the University of uh, Hawaii at Manoa has a special career service center. Can we put up slide one, please? And here we, we have a, a website on the bottom, but um, it, the Manoa Career Service Center uh, reaches out to the whole campus. So it's not just the School of Travel Industry Management or the Shidler College of Business, but the whole campus, whatever we have. I think we have about 15,000 students. So there's an opportunity uh, if you have a need, whether it's uh, a line worker or you're willing to train. I've seen a number of folks that are willing to train. If they didn't get a chance to go to uh, work with Daniel yet, um, that there's an opportunity here to uh, many people that are in the industry that I've met over the years that uh, didn't start in food and beverage, right? Didn't come to a hospitality or, or a travel industry management program. For instance, uh, Dirk that owns Il Gelato, he has a PhD in chemistry. He was a chemical uh, engineer, and then he turned into becoming a restaurateur or a gelato uh, entrepreneur. So. Here's an opportunity to open the door to all students that are looking for jobs. And, you know, here in Hawaii, it's so expensive. If you're going to college, you, you most likely need a, need a job, at least a part-time job. Um, can we go to slide two, please? Um, we have on our Shidler website, uh, if you're looking to uh, put it up, we have a, um, on the career services side, we have a thing called Handshake. Now, Handshake is a platform that's uh, throughout many universities, but the one here is for the island of uh, Oahu. And you can go on the Shiloh website, and when you're there, you click on uh, Handshake, and then it'll walk you through how to post. First, you have to be uh, put up to be accepted, and then you can post your, your positions that you're looking for. And that'll go directly to um, students that are in. Uh, Career Service Center at, at Shidler. Um, another thing that might be a good resource is number three slide. Could you put up number three slide? Uh, at the Shidler College of, of Business there, the Career Service Center, they have an uh, expo twice a year that they open up for management positions. And uh, one in February last year and then, and then in October. And you can go to the, under the Career Service Center and you can look at it. And then um, there's, there are, you have to apply because we get so many businesses that come. And then uh, that's an opportunity that can help later down the line. I know that right now people, most my experience in the restaurant when I was managing a restaurant, uh, I need a waiter that day. I need a cook that day, right? It, it's not like somebody gives two weeks notice. And, um, but if you're looking for management further down the line, you, this career expo might be an opportunity to, to get there. And um, the final slide if you could put up uh, is the name. Uh, here we have uh, Patrick Stewart, uh, his email there and phone number, as well as the uh, student advisors for that. And Patrick is actually one of the people that put together the expo. So that there's some uh, resources for you from the University of Hawaii at Manoa and specifically the Shiva College. Yeah, so in my, my personal experience, I, I was very fortunate, like Daniel, I've worked in this industry many, many years. Uh, my family was in the business and I, I grew up in it. I did pull away for a little while, then I came back. And I, and I only became a teacher because I got hurt. I was the part owner, general manager of a restaurant, fell off a curb, fluke accident that I became a teacher. 
And uh, I must admit, um, my food and beverage class is my favorite class and I've been fortunate to teach it for many, many years. And uh, I think, you know, one of the great things about this industry is it's never boring. It's never boring, you know, it's, it's, it, and it's transferable. You can do it here in Oahu, you can do it on Maui, you can do it on, you know, everybody needs to eat. Everybody needs to eat. And as Daniel mentioned, that uh, there's been a shift, right, with uh, online or to go uh, due to the pandemic, it shifted even more. And they, you need different skills now. You need to have that online skills, et cetera. But uh, I think that, that all of this is, is, is an opportunity uh, for the next generation of leaders in our industry. And we're doing great. The only challenge is just not enough employees. We just don't have enough employees. And as, as Daniel said, uh, you need to make sure that we, we train our folks that we don't lose the ones we have. You know, you fit that culture, as Cheryl mentioned. Once you get that culture going, it's like a, running a fine engine. When you have a big day and everybody's in the front of the house and the back of the house and everybody's working together, it's just <laughs> a good day. It's a good day. Especially this Sunday when we're anticipating a big Father's Day, gentlemen. So many of the restaurants have already told me they've already geared up. Inventories are ordered. Many of the restaurants are ready for a big Father's Day because we need it. The restaurants need, you know, that um, support from the community. So please, whoever is watching, if you can, you know, order takeout. If you don't want to go to a restaurant, if you are happy to go to a restaurant, like I'll be going to a restaurant, make your reservations early because I know that it's going to be it's going to be hard to get a reservation. But thank you, Jerry, you're correct. The University um, uh, Manoa has a huge, um, is a huge resource for employers who are looking at hiring employees by you know, the spring and fall uh, career fair, the posting of all the jobs, which is both part-time and full-time, right? And all of the different resources that you can provide. And, you know, many times if somebody is looking, Jerry knows the students and I've been able to utilize some of Jerry's students too, right, Jerry? Yes. Yep. And we have, you know, we have some really, I, you know, at the end of the semester when they do their projects, et cetera, and some of the grades, I, I'm, I'm very, very hopeful for the future of our industry. We have some really sharp kids out there and it's amazing. It's amazing how, how, how smart some of, of, of these young, they're young. I mean, when, when they tell me they're born, you know, after 2000, I'm like, 2000? <laughs> then I realize how old I am. Yeah. <laughs> Only today we're talking to Winward Community College and the University of Hawaii Manoa. But I just want to assure all the listeners also that KCC also has a program, right, gentlemen? Yep. Daniel? Yeah, yes. that's correct. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Lori Mayahara is the counselor over there. Um, they do regular career fairs. The pandemic obviously put things uh, uh, on a different schedule and a different track, but um, regular uh, graduating class career fairs would take place up there. And she is a great resource. Uh, I can put folks in touch with her, or you can reach out to any of the chairs, the department chairs for the culinary programs, whether it's Leeward or at uh, Kapiolani. Um, and then I stopped by Han CC, Honolulu Community College yesterday. Uh, we talked uh, a little bit before about uh, Harriet program, and that's the, the Union Trust. And they've taken over the cafeteria uh, at Honolulu Community College, and they're doing uh, training for their workers, of course, um, that are in the union, and they're also doing uh, operational um, aspects of the business for Meals uh, on Wheels, and uh, they're, they're reviving the apprenticeship program. So for folks that are interested in um, that aspect of the training side of things, uh, that, that's yet another resource here um, for folks. That is excellent, Daniel. I didn't know about the HCC. You know, I had invited the Kapilani Community College, Lauren, to jump on, but she already had another commitment. But mm -hmm. Even Leeward Community College, you know, we are in touch also with Don Moriyama and Dag Dag, who are also out there. And they also know of a lot of the students that are graduating out of their programs because many of the restaurants 
because they're community based, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you can find an employee, if your restaurant is in, you know, the leeward side, let's say, or like yourself, right, the windward side, and you have a restaurant for me, like at the windward mall, right, that's why I reach out to Daniel, because his students are normally in that neighborhood. And yeah. so your neighborhood community college or college makes sense because they know the students and they know what students are going to be the students that would really help your business move forward. Absolutely. And I would say real quick, as Jerry mentioned, uh, uh, he has the guest speakers that come in and do assessments and evaluations. Uh, that's really a valuable uh, experience for the students, the instructor, and, and even the folks that come in. Uh, but it never hurts, hurts to ask. If you reach out towards the end of the semester, or if you uh, know some of the instructors within the many programs that we have throughout the, the system, uh, ask them if you can come in and, and uh, be a guest speaker for a day. You can talk about your experiences. Uh, they may be able to get that into uh, their calendar for the semester. A lot of times it's a really uh, valuable experience for the students and for everyone involved. That is excellent. Thank you for that suggestion. You know, we have the community colleges, we have the University of Hawaii Manoa, and also Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, which is how Daniel and I first started the conversation. The Educational Foundation has culinary programs in 10 of our local Hawaii high schools. And again, it's an accredited ProStart program. And that's also a resource. Those high school culinary teachers know which students, you know, have that, that, that talent and the skill set and the knowledge now because ProStart is a two-year program, juniors and seniors. And by, by the time they graduate as a senior, they've got a lot of experience and they've got the knife skills and they've got the basic, you know, the measurements and the recipe building skill set. So that's another resource for our restaurateurs is to reach out to those culinary instructors. And if you don't know who they are, as I mentioned, reach out to me at info at hawaiirestaurant.org and I can put you in touch with those um, ProStart teachers who are in our community also. All right, gentlemen, so I'm gonna let you just close it up because we're running out of time. I got the five minute warning. So Jerry, I'm gonna give you the five minutes to wrap it up and say what you need to say so that people understand how the University of Hawaii is a resource to find employees. Yes, and I thank you, Cheryl. Yes, we are a major resource. You know, we just have such a large student body, you know, uh, both with, within the, the School of Travel Industry Management and the Shiloh College of Business as, for management, but also as a university as a whole, you know. And, you know, a lot, like I said, there's an opportunity the student could be studying uh, biology or uh, marine science, and they take a, they get a job as a, uh, a kitchen helper or as a waiter or a waitress. And the next thing you know, they, they get bit by the bug, you know, the restaurant bug and they like it. And then, you know, it's like I said, it's never boring. This, the, the industry is never boring. It's exciting. It's a fast pace. You meet lots and lots of people. Uh, if you like meeting people, uh, that this is the industry for you. And, and like I said earlier, it's transferable. You can take this skills and go to other places. You travel, you know, they, they need it both here in Hawaii, but on the outer islands, or you could even travel uh, overseas, et, et, et cetera. And one of the things that I would always recommend too is what, what Daniel offers. You know, you have this group of folks that you're uh, in your, for the two of the restaurateurs this is, that you have a, a, a team already, and you're probably looking for to add to that team. But make sure we take care of the team that you have. And it might be good to, you know, have Daniel put a, a class, a, a day or two class to come in and team build or just something that makes the employees understand that yes we're trying to make it better and uh that that'll help keep them the retention and and i really think that that's very 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 vital right now especially thank you you're so right it's it's like you you mentioned right is creating that team and giving each individual an opportunity to grow internally also and that's so important that's so important all right, Daniel. So again, you've got your five minutes. What do you want to share about the Windward Community College and how you can be a resource to our restaurateurs and businesses? 
Well, about the college, it's an awesome place. It's like a park. If you've never been, come on by. <laughs> we see so many people, and when we get students that come in, they're like, oh, I've never been to Windward Community College. Uh, amazing campus. But um, yeah, on the programs, um, uh, I'm just hoping that we can uh, see an uptick in, in enrollment for the Manage First and, and link that to what we're doing um, with the ProStart, the high school level. Because I, I think, as you mentioned, Cheryl, the, it's an underutilized resource. A lot of um, the restaurant owners might not think to look to high school culinary arts teachers uh, and specifically ProStart students for uh, a foot in the door as entry level employees. And that's one of the things that uh, we're hoping to create a link between, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that high school, where that link between high schools, uh, community colleges and universities. So uh, we're happy to help anybody that uh, might have questions or if you need me to point you in a direction of funding or students or training, um, just let me know, we're happy to help. And you're so right, Daniel, because I have restaurants that say, hey, we look for summer employment, right? We look for those employees that just can work in the summer just until they start school in August. And then maybe, you know, when they start school, come in on the weekends. So many of the restaurants will even take, you know, consideration of an employee that can only work for the summer and part-time. So again, to our viewers in closing, you know, last week we spoke to the American Job Center. If you didn't see that recording, please go back to our channel and watch it. They are a huge resource to help employers not only post the jobs, but also be able to view all the candidates that are in their system that you can go through and um, reach out to because they're currently looking for employment. They also can assist you with job fairs and, and work with each individual organization to really fine tune that job description. This week, we spoke to community colleges and the University of Hawaii, Manoa, because they are also a huge resource because they have students who are already showing a lot of interest. Now they've got certifications and education under their belt. So they're that much more valuable. So in closing, again, our food service industry is still struggling with the employee shortage and the rising cost of food supplies and gas. And so we still asking our community support and understanding while we're going through this tough time. Should you have any questions again, if you're looking for um, employment, contact me. Remember, in our industry, you don't even need a resume. You just contact me. All I need to know is the area that you're looking for and what type of position. And I'll put you in touch with employers in your neighborhood who are currently looking for employees. Again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association, the voice of Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.